Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rachak with Dash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to you. I came out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. This lesson is going to be entitled Jake Does Not Know How to Act. When I say Jake, that's short for Jacob, which is our people. Okay, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, they don't know how to act, man. Okay, and this particular example is dealing with you so-called Negroes because you definitely don't know how to act. Okay? Now, this is a video that the brother uh, Rawai Laya Sharala put up. And, um, you know, the title says, uh, Miserable Miscreants. You no, know, speaking about Esau because you have these Karens that go around and, you know, harass Jake and whatever the case may be. But this, I don't personally think, is that type of situation, okay? To some extent, it was during the end, but she was really just trying to say something that was, you know, hurtful or whatever the case may be. But I'm going to play the video, and I'm going to tell you why I don't think that this is one of those situations, okay? I'll call you back. I'm sorry, what did you say? When you just black like that, you, just, you were so loud, you skipped, you made me jump out of the skin. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm scared. Okay, scared. I just want to make sure you're okay. No, no, I can't hear you because I have my headphones no, in. No, I don't know, but when you did that, I was like, oh my god. I didn't even notice I did anything. When you laughed. When I it laughed, I did what? Loud. Oh, because it's echoes in here. I'm in yeah. the gym. It it's going to echo. Loud. Yeah, at the gym, it's going to echo like that. <laughs> like, like a, <laughs> it's like going to do that. Yeah, it's much louder. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, but I can't really help how I laugh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything uh, by it. I'm not telling you. I'm not complaining about how you laugh or how the way you laugh or whatever, but have consideration for other people. Respect, honey. You're in the gym. Yeah, take my picture. Hello. Report me. Very disrespectful, and I'm calling the police. Now, you see that situation. I'll call you back. I'm okay, you can tell at this end of. Okay, the so-called black, you know how the so-called black woman gets, she's completely out of order. She doesn't have any consideration for anybody. Now, you're in a public place, you're in a gym, right? And it might be just you and her in the gym. But when you're talking on the phone, you could clearly tell that that chick is loud as hell. All right, she got a big mouth, a loud ass laugh. All right. And she actually came to you kind of, she came to you nicely. She didn't come to you like a Karen, right? She really came to you nicely at first. She said, listen. Uh, sweetheart, can you please um, not uh, laugh so loud because it makes me jump when you laugh like that. You see what I'm saying? But you know how the so-called black woman is. You can't tell her anything. You tell her anything and that's an offense. So what happens is she got cursed, Tate records her and, and starts you know, giving attitude wherever the case may be. And I could guarantee that if any of us were in that gym, we would have been getting annoyed at this bitch talking on the phone all loud. All right. <laughs> And laughing, you know how they get, man. You know how they get, okay. So a lot of times, Jake, Jake really deserves the things they get. A lot of times, man, because Jake, the average Israelite, does not know how to act. Yes, there's a bunch of Karens, a bunch of Edomite devils running around, you know, harassing Jake and all these different things. But Jake really does not know how to act, okay. They don't have any common decency when you're in a place like that. And you know it's echoey like that. That's not even really a place to be talking on the phone for everyone to hear your conversation, man. Maybe people don't want to hear your conversation. But anyways, that's why I say what I said about this, you know. Because Jake will take these type of situations and they'll blow this thing all out of proportion. And what it does is it makes all Jakes look bad. It makes all Israelites look bad. Now this is um, Isaiah 51 and verse 20. It says, Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets 
as wild bull as a wild bull in a net. You know, you have a wild bull in the net. It's looking to attack because it's 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 it feels um threatened. Okay, so when you see these different jakes walking in packs and things like that, especially when they're young, especially when they're in their early twenties and nineteen, eighteen, you know they're up to no good. A lot of a lot of the times they're up to no good. A lot of times you could tell when they're up to no good. You could tell when they're looking to start a fight. Okay, you see what I'm saying? So you got you have to avoid them jakes because they're like wild bulls. They're like wild animals, man. Okay. They are full of fury of Yahweh, the rebuke of thy power. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go to um, Jeremiah 5 and verse 24. Matter of fact, 26 it says, For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set his snares, they set a trap, they catch men. Right, so there's wicked people, right, men and women amongst the nation of Israel, okay, and really you can't be trying to defend every Jake that walks, you know, that they you know just because oh the police is beating them and whatever. Well, you got to kind of see. <laughs> sometimes you got to really look at the um the whole picture. Although we know that Jake is a, is um that Esau is the devil and you know he's tar he targets Jake and he's he's unreasonable in these things. But guess what? Jake is unreasonable too. All right. Jake is unreasonable as well. Furthermore, they don't have the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so they don't know how to act in those situations. Because even though he's the devil and he's unreasonable, this is his kingdom. So you have to move in a certain way in his kingdom. Okay? It says, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. They are waxen fat, they shine. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause of the fatherless. Yet they prosper. And the right of the needy do they not judge. Okay, and a lot of Jakes, they, you know, they, they're doing pretty well in the society. But then you got the men of the Lord who are, you know, struggling in this society. You know, you see what I'm saying? So this is how this is how this earth is. Um. This is how this earth is right now. You know, you have the, the, the worst of the worst on top. Okay, and then you got the best at the bottom. You see what I'm saying? And that includes Jake. There's a lot of Jakes that are, are doing doing decent. They're not doing as good as Esau and these other nations, but they're doing decent compared to the men of the Lord. Okay. <clears throat> it says, Shall I not visit for these things? Saith the Lord, shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? Because you think that woman that you're seeing in the video, you think if she's she if she saw the prophets, you think she would be um, you know, cordial with the prophets? Oh yeah, the shalom, brother. No, no, she she would be on some um. I know that's hate, Ray, 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 blah, F you, or, you know, you know, I don't know her, but I'll say based upon how she's talking here, man, you know, she seems like one of them, them women, you can't tell nothing, you can't tell them anything, you know, that's what I perceive from here, I could be wrong, but that's what I perceive from this particular video, man, all right, um, now dealing with decorum, all right, but let me get this first. This is Second uh, Peter's two and verse uh, twelve. It says, "But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption." Because guess what? A lot of Jakes are like natural brute beasts. Even people that have been in the truth, okay, a lot of them are as natural brute beasts, and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness. As they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime, spots they are and blemishes, <laughs> sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you, right? So these are blemishes. They're blemishes not only, okay, there's certain people that are blemishes to the men and the truth, but there's Israelites that are blemishes to our whole nation, man. 
all right you see these jakes with their pants below their behind right you got a uh, you know you see eve with these these ridiculous weaves and, and talking all loud and and rambunctious and, and, and no type of order or femininity to them that is a blemish and a spot on our feet on our um on our nation excuse me okay he says sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you having eyes full of adultery you know they're, they're a bunch of adulterers and adulteresses okay and they cannot cease from sin beguiling un unstable souls and heart they have exercised with covetous practices cursed children which have forsaken the right way which just goes into men that were in the truth you know and then they you know they forsake the way and, and they go and they go and teach a bunch of lies which we have a, a few people doing that now you know saying that uh, uh king that Ma, king masha was not king david but king david is here we don't know who he is so we're waiting we're waiting to see who you say is, which we know is going to be all bs but we're waiting to see what what you what you're going to uh, say about that and when that's going to pop up and when all these people are going to come and preach the same doctrine as you which is supposed to be the 144,000 as you claim so we're waiting okay listen man you're going the way of nazariah man remember nazariah he was talking all that big stuff. Now where's he at? He says, which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray following the way of Balaam, the son of Basor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Okay. Okay. But, um, but anyways, that, you know, that's pretty much it on that. I wanted to um, deal with the decorum the, the aspect because even us in this truth, you got certain brothers, you know, in the truth that need to know uh, decorum, you know. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 5. <clears throat> and verse. Hmm. <laughs> This is 1 Corinthians 5 and verse 11. It says, But now I have written unto you not to keep company. If any man that is called a brother be a fornicator, meaning an adulterer, or a covetous, or an uh, right, that goes with anything, man. All right? The covetous part, okay? You can't be covetous, man. You can't be looking to see a brother got something, right? Oh, why, why that brother have to get this and that? Why can't I get that? You know, or brother have a car, you don't have a car, you got a car, or you got a nice car, and you don't have a nice car, you know, and you're murmuring, it, it, even in your heart, that's wicked, you know, um, whatchamacallit, um, you know, a brother might get a woman, or a woman might be attracted to a particular brother, no, I don't wonder why he got to get all them women, why can't they, no, I can, they like me, you, you start feeling that, that envious spirit in you, that's, that's, that's Satan working, man. Okay, so you got to rebuke that spirit, you know. Any brother that gets a woman, well, guess what? The woman made a great choice because she's that's one of the men of that's one of the men of Yahweh by Shimbi I was shot, man. Okay, that's the bet. She can't go uh, any higher than that. All right, and that's how you should look at it. Okay, so that covetous spirit, you got to knock that out of you, man. All right, it says or an idolater, okay, or a, a railer. Oh, 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 when you call upon Jesus Christ, that's idolatry, my friend. That's idolatry, okay? Because that's the, that's it says make no mention of other gods. That's another god, okay? Or a railer, someone who's making them some wild jokes. You know, you call a brother like, yo, he a bitch, yo, he this, he that, you know, he, he a piece of S-H-I-T, this and that. That's a railer, okay? Or a reviler. That's someone who, you know, has no... um. He'll say anything. He'll say the most hurtful thing. Just like the so-called black woman. She'll, she's a reviler. She'll say anything. She'll look for the most. Man, that's why your mama died. You know. And the, <laughs> yo, they, 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 trust me, man. Satan likes to work through that. Okay? Like the woman that shoot, shot the man's ashes out because he cheated on her. So she shot his mother's ashes out. Those are demented spirits. Just leave them alone. Those are. Something's wrong with them, man. Okay? Or a railer. Or a drunkard. Or an extortioner. With such on one, know not to eat. So we're not supposed to eat with those people. None of these people 
are gonna come into the camp. Okay, these people like this, you find out someone's like this, you're not you're not gonna be in the camp. Okay, because these are not the people we're supposed to have amongst us. It says, For what have I to do to judge them also that are without? Do not ye judge them that are within, but them that are without, the most high judges, therefore put away from among yourselves that wicked person. Okay? So we're not supposed to be um be like those people. Okay? And the scripture says, uh be um move with wisdom to them that are without. Okay? Meaning what? You got you have to carry yourself in a in a certain way <clears throat> to the people that are not in the truth so that they can see your good works. All right? And that you may uh, uh give a good name to the ministry, man. So the ministry not be blamed. Well, guess what? We're supposed to be acting like that dealing with our nation as well or because we're supposed to um, give our na nation a good name, right? The Heavenly Father put his name on our nation, so we're supposed to, you know, carry ourselves in a certain way, okay, as the bride of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay, spiritually speaking. Now, this is, uh, oh yeah, this is what I was talking about. This is Colossians 4 and 5. It says, walk in wisdom toward them that are without redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, Okay, I mean you gotta you gotta know how to talk to certain people and how to talk in certain instances, okay? That ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's deal with Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiasticus, the um the twelfth chapter. Okay, and this chapter is also going into manners. You know how to have some some manners, some 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 decorum about you, which Jake has no decorum. Jake has no order. They have no decorum, you know. And um, you know, to some extent, even though Esau is the devil, to some extent, Esau has more decorum than you, Jake's. Okay, this is um, Ecclesiasticus thirty-one and verse twelve. If thou sit at a bountiful table, be not greedy upon it. And say not there is much meat on it. Remember that a wicked eye is an evil thing. See, so when you come to someone's house, you're not supposed to be uh, looking. You know, let's say, was created a feast. You're not. Your hand is not supposed to jump up first. You know, you're at somebody's house. Your hand is the first one to grab bread. You know, you're grabbing the. the, the you make sure you grabbing the, the biggest loaf. <laughs> All right, or the biggest piece of chicken, whatever the case may be. Okay, and what is created? more wicked than an eye therefore it weepeth upon every occasion stretch not thine hand whithersoever it looketh right and, and my mother had a saying growing up you know um your eyes your eyes are your eye is bigger than your belly you know what i'm saying because i like to eat you know you know i was one of those guys that like to eat you know only coming in the truth i was i, I started to um Bridle my mouth, so to speak. Okay, stretch not thine hand whithersoever it looketh, and th thrust it not with him into the ditch. Because most of these days, I only eat one meal a day. All right, because this is it's about when you start to get accustomed to it. You know, your, your what happens is your belly really shrinks. Okay, it says, stretch not thine hand whithersoever it looketh, and thrust it not. With him into the ditch, into the dish. <laughs> Judge not thy neighbor by thyself, and be discreet in every point. Eat as it becometh a man those things which are set before thee, and devour not. Devour not. I believe it's, in, it's that's how you. It's another way of saying not. Devour not, lest thou be hated. Leave off first for manner's sake and be not insatiable lest thou offend see there's a certain way you're supposed to carry yourself even in this truth man all right you have to have some type of manner some type of decorum right so that what you do not offend okay As people look at you you know you're outside you're in the restaurant you're you know you're drinking the soup you still got the soup in your mouth 
right? Your cheeks are all full, and then you, 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 you're jamming the drumstick in your mouth with the soup. Some of the soup spills out. <laughs> yeah, listen, man. Jake, Jake, some, some Jakes, man, they don't... <laughs> it's a lot here, bro. Some of these Jakes, they don't know how to act, man. Let's just put it that way, man. It's, you know? Anyways, it says, um, Leave off first for manner's sake and be not unsatiable, lest thou offend. When thou sittest among many, reach not thine hand out first of all. This goes into discipline, man. A very little is sufficient for a man well nurtured. And he fetcheth not his wind short upon his bed. And there's certain times, man, you'll see certain like maybe movies or whatever the case may be where they might come to, I don't know, they might be doing a business deal or something like that. And, you know, and they, um, I'm thinking of a particular movie. I don't remember which movie I watched, but I'm sure I've seen it in a couple movies and, you know, they might have had their son or, or their, one of their, their, their workers or someone that as a partner with them, go to a particular person's house and he'll be eating all crazy. Blah, blah, blah. And, and, and then he'll, he'll curse the person out and say, oh, why were you eating like that? Why are you showing them? Basically, you're showing them that we're hungry. You know? You know what I'm saying? Because a person who's well nurtured, he doesn't need to be eating like that. Because guess what? He, he has food. He has, you know, he's, he's well nurtured. Okay? And he fetcheth not his wind short upon his head. Sound sleep coming right, so that that's going into something else. But, anyways, what I was reading there is going into um how to act. You know how so, some of the ways you are to carry yourself, man. And Jake is not carrying himself correctly, you know, and that's why these situations happen in the first place because you don't have any decorum. Okay, but yeah, there's devils that are gonna come up to you and and, and you know every now and then. That that those situations happen as well, of course, absolutely. This is Esau. This is our enemy, okay. What you don't know, this chick, she might be a Jake. She might be a, a damn Italian because she got like, you know, that type of Italian voice. Who knows? She might be a Jake, and she and because the reason why she said what she said at the end, I'm gonna call the police because she she was so mad that she wanted to get a, a rise out of the person, wanted to get a rise out of this woman, you know. But um, but either way. It doesn't make a difference whether she's an Edomite or not. Doesn't make a difference. Jake has to know how to carry himself. Jake doesn't know how to carry himself. That's why a lot of times they get pulled over by the police, and something that's supposed to be simple, it, it, it turns into a big thing. You know. You know what I'm saying? The police tell you to get there. Now, why I gotta go in there? Why I gotta? And then you wonder why the police is kicking you in your face and tasing you. And a lot of times the police can't wait to do that anyway. So why would you give them a reason to do that? You see? <laughs> but anyways, man. With that, Lord willing, that was edifying to the elect. Don't give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. By Hashem, Rechak, Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to you. I came out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Shalom. I'll call you back. I'm sorry, what did you say? Sweetheart, when you you were so loud, you made me jump out of the skin. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, no, you're scared. Okay, I just want to make sure you're okay. I can't hear you because I...